Hello, and welcome to my very much zoomed in video. So for today's video, guys, I am doing something that I literally have not done in a hot minute. I could not tell you last time I done a dedicated video to one brand, but that is what we are doing today. You guys have been asking to see this review. And I was like, let me do what the people want. So I'll be reviewing the brand new Lunar Beauty. This is the Moon Shroom Collection. My PR finally got delivered. So I'm gonna be trying this out today and let you guys know whether or not I think it's worth it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the eyes. So I'll be diving into the Moon Shroom palette that you guys see right here. This is an 18 shade color palette. It does retail for $48. First off, can we talk about the outside packaging? It is absolutely beautiful. I love the moon. I love the mushrooms. I love the stars. It's such a classic Lunar Beauty packaging. And then when you open the color store on the inside, y'all, the way that I literally went the first time I saw it, because you guys know I'm a color whore. I am a color whore like two and through I've always been and Manny finally delivered when it came to a colorful palette and that is this right here. So this is definitely a very gorgeous colorful palette. I mean, there is some pops and neutrals in here if you wanna do more of a neutral look, but there's definitely very colorful shades for those who love color like myself. Now I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw this, I immediately thought of like fall. And the reason why I thought about fall is because this first row that you guys see right here, this is those fall colors I look for when it comes to like a yellow or like a sunflower yellow. Yellow. not to mention you have like the olive greens and you have like the baby diarrhea poop color green like this to me it's like that baby diarrhea so freaking beautiful but like I live for baby diarrhea shadows I don't know why I don't know why I just think that it's like just the prettiest color in the world <laughs> changing a baby diarrhea poop that looks like that is not pretty but in the palette i'm like yes bring on the diarrhea do you know what i mean so i think this is a very beautiful colorful eyeshadow palette i'm really excited to play into it because you're definitely going to have those fall shades you're also going to have a full row of shimmers plus a full row of like dark bold shades in here now some of the dark dark bold shades in here do kind of remind me of spring like you're going to have this beautiful pop of like a lavender purple in here with the deep bold colors to help to complement that shade but you also have just some spring colors in here like you can do fall the top spring at the bottom it's a very versatile palette when it comes to that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I am super, super excited to dive into this. Okay guys, so before we dive into a makeup look, a lot of you guys asked me to compare the Robity Christie X ColourPop at Florida Sight Palette to the Lunar Beauty Moonstream Palette. So here are the two palettes. I'll put them side by side. There are definitely similarities between the two palettes, but there's also differences as well. Like I think five or six shades are similar, but they're also going to be different. I will do a side-by-side -side comparison. I will show you swatches right here so you guys can see what the Lunar Beauty one looks like and what the Raw Bitty Christie one looks like. And yes, I will say there are some similarities, but at the same time, they're also different as well. Lunar Beauty does offer more of a variation when it comes to colors. Robert Christie, you just get a smaller palette. There are some similar shades, but they are also different with the undertones and everything. So I just want to do a quick comparison because a lot of you guys asked me to compare the two. A lot of you guys asked me to do that. So I want to do that for you guys. But now we're going to go ahead and dive into this palette right here. The last palette that I played with with Lunar Beauty was actually the uh, Siren Sunset one. Now that's a really gorgeous palette. Actually, Manny did multi-chromes in this palette, in that palette. Oh my God, so freaking beautiful. He did a really great job with that one. All right, so I'm gonna take a shade called Weeping Willow right here. We're gonna put this in the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna do a halo eye look today. I haven't done a halo look in a long, in a hot minute, but a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do a dedicated review to this. And you know what? I have not done a dedicated review to just one brand in a hot minute, unless I'm doing like a full face of like Essence or Revlon or ColourPop. That's a little bit different, but like just to do a dedicated review to just one palette collection, I have not done that in a hot minute. I know you guys have been asking me where my Glam Light review is. Is. I'm gonna be like completely honest with you guys. I actually never received that in PR. And I, oh. <laughs> never received that in PR. And for me, like that's okay. Like it's not a like it's not a big deal. I bought the palette because I still want to have the palette, but I never did receive it in PR. So that's why you guys aren't going to see a dedicated review to that. But I definitely will find a way to feature that palette like one way or another. This is such a stunning color. There is something about like an olive green that I just think is so freaking pretty. It's gonna be messy, but we're gonna make this line nice and sharp. <laughs> or however Michaela says it. Okay, then I'm gonna take the shade called Lion's Mane right here. We're gonna use that to blend out on top. I wanna take a minute to thank you guys for all the love that you guys have shown me 
on my last two videos where I had sponsorships. You guys know I don't really ever do a sponsorship. So when I do, it actually means a lot to me that you guys showed a lot of love. The brand saw, they were so impressed with how sweet you guys were. So I just wanna take a moment to thank you guys. I thought that was actually really cool. I wasn't sure how you guys were gonna take it just cause again, like I said, I never really ever do sponsorships, but you guys were incredible with it. So thank you guys for being amazing. The reason, you know what's so funny is I, don't really like doing dedicated reasons anymore. I kind of like trying out all new makeup in one video. I feel like it makes it so fun. It allows me to try all different makeups at different time. You guys get to see it. So whenever I do my, like repurchase or trash series, you guys will be like, oh, well, I've been seeing her try out that product. Like it makes sense. So I don't really know how often I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Honeysuckle. It looks like there's like a little Tinkerbell on it. Super cute. But I don't know how often I will do dedicated reviews just cause I really, just really enjoy doing like a full face of trying to make up that for me is a lot of fun especially now that i've gone back to work i don't have as much time to review makeup as much as i once did um so i will try to make the most of what i have like now my only day off is saturday it's my only day off because i work either this job or my disney job now so i don't have as much time so that's why you guys will probably see more of this stuff like in trying out new makeup than just doing like dedicated reviews. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here called Spores. Now one of the wing, one of the things I will say when it comes to Luna Beauty like shimmer formula, I do really enjoy it, but I also feel like they get, I don't wanna say like hard pan, but they definitely hit pans sooner than I expected because I absolutely love, like love, love, love my nude prism palette. But there's one particular shade that I pretty much hit pan on and I'm kind of like digging in it to make my neutral eye look, but it's such a beautiful look. I think it's the shade called Sam. And uh, I absolutely love that shade along with the shade called Laura, but I use them so much that I could definitely tell that like, I'm like digging in there to get like the pigment on my finger again, but it does lay down beautifully last all day. And I do like the fact that I don't need glitter glue to make it work. And then I'm gonna take the shade called Fairy Wings. We're gonna trust the process guys. We're gonna trust the process. Take the shade called Fairy Wings and we're gonna start to just put this right in the center. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade right here called Death Cap, and we're gonna use this to line up our waterline. You guys know that I don't do um, liner up at top because I just frankly don't like liquid liner on my eye. It just doesn't look good on me personally, but I like to use powder to stamp along my waterline to help blend in my false lashes with my real lashes. So far, this is laying down really nicely. So there's definitely a little bit of fallout with the palette, but it is really, really beautiful, and I am just living for this eyeshadow look right here. I kind of want to mix a little bit of purple into it, so I think we're gonna do like a light purple underneath and see how I could bring the two colors together. Okay, so before we wrap up this look, I really love how this looks, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade called Tink right here, like very, very light shade from the highlighter palette, and we're gonna start to stamp this just directly, just right here i want to add a little bit of light so that when the light hits it it yeah it looks like that you see how that see how pretty that looks just kind of tap that right there gives it a nice like lighting effect so when it hits it just really shines and then i'm also going to take that same shade and we're going to put it on a little brush and i'm actually going to use that for my brow highlight today just like right here kind of go over that's so pretty so freaking pretty. Okay, let me do the other eye off camera, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so to finish off the under eyes, like I said, I kind of want to go like purple. I feel like purple would be really pretty. So I'm actually going to take this shade called Pixie Pop, and we're just going to put that underneath the eye. I just feel like that's going to be, I don't know, really pretty with this. And we are going to take this right along the under eye. I just like this pop of like bright purple. I don't know. I just feel like it just will bring it together. All right, I feel like that pop of purple is just so freaking beautiful. Like, really just, like, brings it together. Now I got to figure out, like, what kind of, like, eyeliner I want to go with it. I could go with white. I could go with black. I could go with purple. I could go with yellow. What would look best with this? Okay, so I went with, like, this light, like, yellow shade right here. I think it actually looks pretty good. I'm going to move into the highlighter right here. So this is going to be the Moonshroom highlighter. This actually is a four-shade highlighter palette. Retails for 36 You do get you get four beautiful, beautiful big size highlighters. I think I'm gonna use the shade called Tinks because this is gonna make a nice golden highlighter and I just use it on my, my brow bone. I feel like this is gonna be really, really beautiful. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna start to put this, oh my God, yes. That's so pretty. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Sugar. I'm just going to lightly tap that on top of Tinks to kind of like mix the two together. Ooh, look at that. And then I'm gonna take that shade called Sugar one more time and we're gonna put that in our inner corner and on our nose today. 
So I've got to be really pretty. Just put this right here. It's a very, very light formula, so it's really easy to diffuse and kind of blend out. So like if you put on too much, you could just take your brush and kind of just go over it and it really helps to diffuse itself out, which I really do enjoy. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna go line my lips with the Lunar Beauty Lip Liner in the shade called Coco. We're gonna line my lips with this. I'm gonna slightly fill it in. All right, then I'm gonna take the Lunar Beauty Lipstick in the shade called Coco and we're gonna fill that in. Okay, so then we have the three new lip glosses. So these actually do retail for $17 a piece. I absolutely do love the Lunar Beauty lip glosses. They're one of my favorite lip glosses out there. They smell incredible, like a French vanilla smell. They have an amazing taste to them. They have such high shine and longevity. They're non-sticky. They're absolutely beautiful. And they can complement so many different look, look, lip looks. So we have the shade called Flora. Ella. And Soul. I think for today's look, we're gonna go into Soul since I am rocking like a neutral lip. Oh, that is gorgeous. All right, guys, this is the final look. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love the look that I created. I think it's perfect in time for spring. I think it's a very springy vibe, especially with that pop of lavender underneath the waterline. So right here, we do have the Moonshroom palette. This does retail for $48. You do get 18 shades in here. And I have to say, I think they're absolutely beautiful. The mattes perform very nicely. There's virtually any fallout to them. The shimmers are really beautiful. They lay down super nicely. And I just think it's overall a very gorgeous palette. I think that you're going to have a mix of like those beautiful fall colors, which I absolutely love. A beautiful mix of, of, of deep, bold colors, a beautiful mix of shimmers, along with pops of color that kind of remind you of spring. So it's kind of like a very versatile palette. It's so full of color. There are some neutral moments in here if you want to have like a pop of neutral but mostly this is a very colorful palette i think manny really did a fantastic job especially because i love color so much and a lot of his other palettes tend to be a little bit more neutral really nice to see him roll out with a colorful palette and i think he really did a great job at capturing the essence of like mushrooms of forest and spring i think it's absolutely absolutely beautiful probably one of my favorite ones he has created to date then we have the 36 dollars four pan highlighter palette now listen the outside packaging again is absolutely beautiful it's like daytime with rainbows you open up and you're gonna have four beautiful highlighters in here now i absolutely loved my greek goddess highlighter palette i still have that palette and the shadow and the highlighters in there still perform beautifully like five years later i still have my greek goddess palette because i ain't getting rid of that let me show you this highlighter palette Oh, she's here to stay. She's here to stay. I'm not getting rid of her. Manny always did such a beautiful job when it came to highlighters. He truly did. And it's really nice to see him kind of bring them back. They are a little bit of similar shades, but they do have a little bit more of a deeper undertone in this palette versus this palette. But I think that Manny's highlighter formula has always been incredible. And he did have little individual ones that he unfortunately discontinued. So now we have a brand new highlighter palette from his brand. It's so creamy and buttery and it just blends out very, very effortless. It gives you like a very nice like lit from within glow. So so it's not gonna be too overpowering, but it's just enough to give you like a lit from within glow, which I really do enjoy. Very, very beautiful. Not to mention, we do have the three new lip glosses right here. Y'all, I would never say anything bad about Manny's lip glosses. They're one of my favorite formulas out there. They're so beautiful. They're so long lasting. I own every single lip gloss that Manny has ever created. I mean, like literally I own every single one. I will not discontinue. I would never get rid of these. These are amazing. I still repurchase them. I think they're absolutely incredible. I always recommend them to my friends. I think they're really, really good. They're $17. They smell, they smell incredible. You can pair them so much and they are absolutely beautiful. I really do love the lip combo that I created today. So overall, I think Manny created such a beautiful collection. I think it's probably one of my favorite collections he's come out with to date. I really love the palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And this highlighter is just chef's kiss now this collection is available to purchase right now if you guys do want to get your hands on it you guys can use code alley which will save you guys 10 percent off it is an affiliate code so i do make a small kickback but it's a great way to save you guys some coin and support me at the same time but never feel obligated to do so but i do want to let you guys know that my code does not apply to bundles so if you guys want to buy the entire collection it does retail for 110 dollars but my code does not apply to that it does apply to individuals so the, the bundle is 110 everything else is an individual or you can buy all three lip glosses for 40 bucks which i think is actually 
actually a really great deal, by the way. So overall, Manny really killed it with this collection. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And what I do appreciate about his brand is that he puts so much love and thought into it. And it doesn't come out with 500 releases a year. It comes out with like one or two. And it really just means something because it means I can cherish it a lot longer without feeling like another one just came out and I can't even enjoy the one I just used. And I really like how he spaces things out. So with that said, guys, that is it for today's video. I'll make sure I link everything down below for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post three to four videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in my very next video.